Hi all. In this video, I'm going to share about one of the most important another interview question for any Salesforce QA role. That is, what is the difference between a role and a profile in Salesforce? Okay, let's start. So, uh, I have just logged in into a sample Salesforce org. Okay, just search with a profile. Okay, now how to navigate over here okay so just after logging into a um, any salesforce hub you can just click on this uh, gear icon okay and click on this setup okay so that just like this uh, you will be navigated to this home page which i am showing you okay then near this click find you can simply type as profile okay then click on profiles okay so these are all the profiles. See, we have almost 47 profiles. Okay, so you can view all the profiles which are available on Salesforce. Now, what is a profile? First of all, on Salesforce, profile is nothing but it just defines what a particular user can actually do on Salesforce. Okay, what all of, what all actions he can perform? He has permission to perform on Salesforce. For example. In my videos, I'll be explaining about the Salesforce administrator, right? So the Salesforce administrator is one of the profile. Okay. So whenever a user is created, I'll show you that as well. Now just type users, go to users and just open any user. Okay. So let's just open this one, Suzuki Fumiko yeah so here you can see right profile so whenever a user is created a user should be assigned with one profile okay and any user can be assigned with only one profile this is very important guys so user can be assigned with only one profile so you can see here, right this user is assigned with a standard platform user profile okay now what is a profile that's what this particular profile defines like what a user can actually do on salesforce what are all permissions he have from the salesforce security perspective to do on salesforce okay now what are these kind of permissions so these permissions are only related to object level okay system level or object level now what i mean by that let's again navigate to profiles over here so these are all the profiles which are available on Salesforce. Now you can see that right, system administrator. So this is uh, like a Salesforce administrator profile. This is okay. So Salesforce admin, I'll be talking about Salesforce admin, right? So yeah, that is one of a profile. Okay. System administrator. If system administrator profile is assigned to your user, you to your user profile then you have been given an access of a salesforce administrator okay now just click on the system administrator profile so you can see here right we have a lot of things actually like object settings app permissions then if you will scroll down like uh, see system permissions login ip ranges session settings password policies so basically a profile defines so basically a profile defines what actions a user can perform at a system level i mean you can see here right the login ip range and system permissions login us and also mainly at the object level see like the object settings app permissions so using a profile like if any particular profile is assigned to any user then like uh, he will have access to the object settings app permissions so basically profile means it's an object level access or system level access okay simple that we need to understand now for example let's go inside the object settings so you can see here right just go inside the object settings and just go ahead and open any one of the object i'm just opening cases okay cases object on service cloud which we will use in the service cloud so you can see here right if you will scroll down object permission so here if a user is assigned with this system administrator profile he uh, he will have access to the case object which uh, which kind of access to read the object to create the object to edit to delete to view all to modify all okay so 
these are the object permissions okay so using the profile you can assign this read create edit delete object permissions to a user okay and also if you will scroll down you can see here right field permissions also like uh, on a particular case object we will be having account name all other fields right if we are creating any particular case inside the case we will be having multiple fields so field permissions also we can assign using profiles only like for example see account name he will have only read access okay see there is no edit access only read access is available next uh, for example see uh, contact email also only read access is there but for the contact name he is having both read and edit access so simple guys this is the thing profile means what mainly it defines what a particular user will have permission to at a object level field level app level and the system level permissions okay can be assigned using profile simple that's all this is all about the profile now what is a role then just click on role go to roles you can see here right so it's a role hierarchy means what role is nothing but a particular designation or a level assigned to any user for example see uh, like we will be having a ceo cfo ceo so lot of uh, human resources department so lot of roles means the designations which we can assign to a user now here now uh, regarding the access role completely defines the record level access okay for example if i am a ceo now under me in the hierarchy what are all the users available in these designations the ceo will have access to all the records or all the um, like the records which will be used by the other users under the hierarchy even though these are the owners still on the top of the cfo we have the ceo right so ceo will have access to all the records which are used by the cfo so it's a simple guys very simple guys role is nothing but a designation which can be assigned to any user so uh, let's consider in the hierarchy level okay so if i'm on the topmost level in the role then i will have access to all the record level permissions uh to the uh, to the roles under me okay like cfo everyone so even though they are the owners for the records which they created still i will have the permission to those records to either create uh, to either not create because uh the users which are under my uh, role have created them so yeah, i will have access to edit them to share them so a lot of such kind of record level access can be provided by the roles okay now for example let's open ceo okay just click on the ceo role and you can see here right we have something called as opportunity access case access so the uh, user in this role can edit all opportunities associated with accounts that they own regardless of who owns the opportunity so that's it guys it's like, it's like for example in a database consider a table okay so uh, in the salesforce terminology complete table uh, is called as an object okay so profile defines whether a particular user will have access first of all to that table or not okay to the table or not uh, that will be defined by the profile now role means what whether in that table like um, this particular role if he is assigned with this he has access to to those rows or not okay records means what in salesforce terminology in any particular table a record is called as a row okay a field is called as a column okay so profile defines if a particular user can have access to a table or not and also the fields available nothing but the columns available in the table or not okay now role means what to the rows okay so um, if a particular user is in the topmost hierarchy in the row he will have access to the records of that particular uh, objects like uh, created by the user in that hierarchy even though that particular ceo didn't create those uh, records he will still have access to those records to edit you got it right so basically profile and a role role means what simple record level access it's hierarchy based okay so if you're on the topmost hierarchy you will have access to all the records um and the, in the hierarchy created by your users in your hierarchy okay profile means what object level or field level or system level access okay it defines whether you can create the objects edit the objects you can view the objects inside the object you can create a field you can edit the field and system level permissions means what login ip ranges so this is the difference between a profile and a role in salesforce let's again open the user profile okay so users and just open again suzuki user and you can see here right so any user will be assigned with a role and a profile and here another thing so user uh, 
should be assigned with a profile that's a mandatory required field okay but role is not mandatory okay it's not mandatory to assign a role to a user but it's important to assign a profile okay you got it right so that's it guys so once a user is created based on which profile is assigned to the user and which role is assigned to that particular user profile, his, his access to the Salesforce objects, Salesforce fields, Salesforce system settings and uh, access to the records will be defined. Okay, this is the major difference between a profile and a role in Salesforce. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you found this video really helpful.